Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Virgo love prediction reading for August 7th through August 13th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'm always humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, kind, loving Virgos. Show me spirit guides. What's going on, my Virgos? Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Virgos? Let's see, Virgos, what you got going on. Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. I kind of knew that one was coming for some reason. Spirit guides. I knew that Eight of Cups was coming here. And the King of Swords. How many times do you have to tell someone that you're unhappy? How many times do you have to debate about you being unhappy? How many times do you have to let them know that they're not there for you? How many times, how many times you have given this person chance after chance after chance over and over again and they do the same thing. They do the same thing. It's like they hear you, but they don't believe you. They don't understand. They're not comprehending. They're, list they're not listening to you. They hear you, but they're not comprehending what you're saying. And you're letting them know, you let them know so many occasions that you're unhappy with them, that things aren't moving like you think they should be moving, that they're not being there for you, that they're... They're um they're worried if they do themselves but they don't worry about you or they don't they're not there with you. The eight of wands means common conversation, spirited debates about something. And you know what? When I see the seven of wands here, that means you've been standing up for yourself. You know, you're no longer being quiet because you tend to do that sometimes and not want to have conflict. But right now you're standing up for yourself when it comes to this person and your relationship with this person because you know you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired and you're letting them know you're not there and you're standing up. You're standing up for yourself. But see, here's the deal with this person. They, I mean, you've done this. You've, you've done this, but they don't, they, they don't see that you're serious this time. You know, sometimes you have to show people. You have to show people and you're showing this person that you're serious. They don't ever think that you would walk away from them. But guess what? You're leaving because here's a six of pentacles. That's what you want. You want um, a, a give and take relationship. You want uh, generosity, love, kindness. This person is not like that. This person has a um, has a somewhat of a, a darkness about them. And when I say darkness, they just don't love. They don't give their love. They're just you always have to be guessing and wondering how do they feel about you. They're not very um, emotional. And you're moving on. That Eight of Cups, you're moving on because this Eight of Cups means you're leaving this relationship. You're leaving this relationship. And you know what's interesting is this is a King of Swords energy. A King of Swords person could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But an air sign love from their head rather than their heart. They love from their head rather than their heart. And you kept telling them you're not there for me. They didn't hear you. They didn't listen to you. And you're moving away. But they never thought you would leave them. They never thought you would leave them. Because they were so focused on other things, they let their relationship go. They let their relationship, which is the same thing it took to get your person or your love. is the same thing it's going to take to keep them. They didn't do that. They were out doing their thing, you know, um, and they didn't think that you would leave them. But guess what? They're about to be in for a shock because you are leaving them. Because there's no kindness here. There's no generosity. There's just the love is just not there how it used to be. You've had conversations, like I said before, but this time it's beyond conversations. It's about movement. It's about moving away from this energy and finding the person that's going to be there for you. So if this is your read, give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify the reading for you. 
Um, sit back, relax. Just give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading just to see what the spirit guides. Additional information the spirit guides want us to know. Why is this eight of wands here, spirit guides? Show me why the eight of wands is here. Show me why is the eight of wands here, spirit guides. Let's see. Show me. Huh. Got the eight of swords. I've got the eight of swords now. I don't know. Hmm. You could have left this this uh, relationship a long time ago, but somehow there's a there's something that's holding you here. I don't know what it is, but there's something you feel trapped in this relationship. But let me say this: you feel trapped. You do. You feel trapped in this relationship. But let let me keep reading because I want to see here. But you do feel trapped right now. You still you feel like you're stuck with them. So let's see why the uh, seven of wands is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the seven of wands here? Oh, Queen of Cups. A Queen of Cups. You know, Queen of Cups is a very giving, loving, kind, sweet. Her heart is of gold. Um, and for this person, you've been there for them. You've been there right or die. No matter what they needed, you were there. I think that's what um that's how you're standing up and saying to them, I'm gonna leave. I'm leaving because you're not there for me. You've been there for them, but they've not they're not there for you. Your heart space with the Queen of Cups, she has an incredible heart space. Sometimes so much so that she gets walked over. And I do believe that this person in the past has walked over you. They just took you for granted. That's all I see because here you are standing up for yourself and you're on oh, the Queen of Cups is up there. This person took you for granted. They thought you were always going to be there. They thought you were going to always do what they needed you to do. But you need something more. You need some love coming back to you and they weren't willing they're not willing or capable um to give that to you you told them though so let's see what the six of pentacles or the six of coins is here show me spirit guys where's the six of pentacles here show me nine of swords nine of swords you've had enough that's all i have to say what else can i say about this reading but other than you've had enough you have bad dreams nightmares you you don't know um you're just totally unfocused. You've had enough. You're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You just had enough of them not being there for you, not you giving everything, I'm not them not giving it back, taking you for granted. You've had enough. And here you are walking away. Let's see why this Eight of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Cups here for my Virgos? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. That's what you want, this Ten of Pentacles. You want family. You want a family. You want to be married with a family. Um, I'm going to say this is what you want, but I don't think that they want what you want. I don't. I don't think they want what you want. That That is um, concerning to you because that nine of, of swords is there. Um, and that means that, like I said, it's very mental because they don't want what you want. You need to go get what you want, which is a family. A marriage, the two kids, the two dogs. That's what you want. But this relationship is not what they want. They're not looking for that. You had debates with them about that. But they're not looking for this that right now. So let's see why the King of Swords is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the King of Swords here? Oh, temperance. Temperance can represent a Sagittarius sun sign. But <laughs> let me tell you something. When you walk away, this person misses you. This person misses you. This person wants to be back with you. This person um, wants to do what's necessary now. But you know, I don't know if you're coming back or not. But I will say this person, this king of swords energy, he realizes it now. But it's too late almost. It's, almost, it's too late because now you've moved on. Now you've left him. For someone else that may want to give you a family. And you know, you're going to get what you want. Good for you. For a long time, you didn't do this. But that's what I have for you. So let's see. Here's the eight of wands. You're having spirited debates with someone about something. You, They had you trapped for a minute. Your mind space was trapped with them. You felt trapped with them for a while. But now here you are, seven of wands, standing up for yourself. Now you've been the queen of cups. Queen of cups can get over. People can get over on the queen of cups very easily because she's very giving, kind. Her heart is of gold. You've been his ride or die. You've been there for him no matter what. You loved him in spite of his nastiness. And he still 
was not ready to move forward with you as far as what you wanted. Matter of fact, he wanted here, this Six of Pentacles is in the middle of your reading. You want a kind, generous, loving, giving, take relationship. You're not getting that. And in addition, I also know that based on the cards, that you wanted a family. You wanted a marriage. You wanted the two dogs, the 2.3 kids. But you're not. he's not giving that to you. So here you have nightmares. You're having bad dreams about what to expect. How your life will be. You're totally unfocused. Maybe not eating. You're just trying. You're, 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 you don't understand why this person is not giving to you and loving to you. But guess what? You're standing up for yourself now. You're not letting him run over you anymore. He took you for granted. He never thought you would leave. But here you are walking out the door right here. Because he's not giving you what you want. Family. Love. 2.3 kids. Dogs. Life. Home. You know, cold, you just want... You want a life with him. You want a life with him. But here's the king of swords, and that's the energy that of this person could be an air sign, Libra, Virgo, excuse me, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But guess what? Since you left, they miss you. They want you. They miss you. Here's this temperance card here. It, you know, they miss you. The temperance card is they want harmony back with you. They want to love you. But are they going to give you what you want? Because now what has happened is I don't know if you're coming back because you've moved on. You're looking, you're moved on. You know what you want. You're, you've moved on. They had the opportunity, but you've moved on now. So I'm not quite sure you're coming back with this read. Let me see what my Oracle cards say, but they do miss you. They miss you. So show me, show me Oracles. What do you want to show me? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Let's see. Well, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, you know, this is interesting. This is an interesting card. It says, reconsider. They say reconsider. That's what they're saying, reconsider. And that to me, that's interesting that they're saying to you to reconsider. Because what they're saying is that maybe, maybe this person has changed now. Maybe this person gets it now. Perhaps, you know, maybe this person gets it now because they didn't get it in the past. Maybe they they get it now. Perhaps. I don't know. But maybe they get in. They're saying reconsider. Reconsider. But they also say be assertive. In other words, tell them what you want. Do what you do. Let them know that you're not standing for it. That you want the 2.3 kids, the home. That you've been there for them. Reiterate. Let them know. Tell them. Communicate with them. Let them know. And that you're not going to put up with them or come back to them unless you have, I think, unless you have a ring and a date. That's what I see. That's what I hate to see for your love prediction reading, Virgo.